Porson was purchased in 1916, and because of that, it meant that the agricultural revolution that occurred across the rest of the UK after the World Wars never happened at Porton. Porton Down is DSTL's scientific establishment and is the home of uh, lots of scientists doing some fantastic work, but it's also home to uh, a fantastic habitat and biodiversity, and we're right standing in the middle of it here. Because of the MOD being here and taking over for the last 100 years, we're in a unique time capsule here. So we've done a lot of management here to make sure that the um, area is in great habitat for butterflies. So we do make sure that we're creating nice clear areas where there's sun, but also the trees give dappled shade. This is particularly important for our Duke of Burgundy. They're a lovely orangey brown, dark background with those orange sort of spots and on the underside of their wings they're a lot more orange. This is one of the most specialist features of Porton Down and this is our antscape. It's an entire valley as far as the eye can see all around of ant hills. There's um, three million ant hills containing 35 billion ants. We probably know that this area hasn't been ploughed for over 200 years. I can't think of anywhere in the UK that has them on this sort of scale. There are many wildlife species that um, are unique to this site. The stone curlies do really well. Um, we've got um, 15 pairs here on the site. Stone curlies are a highly protected species, so we do go out every day to sort of find every single stone curly nest that we can. Uh, put a trail camera on it um, so we know what, what the outcome of each nesting attempt is, when the chicks hatch. DSTL takes great responsibility in um, ensuring our population is doing really well. The rural team is here to um, manage and maintain as well as survey the site to make sure that we're keeping it in good condition. The innovation that DSTL is known for does um, go hand in hand with the ecological work that we do here.